Hello YouTube friends, I'm Dr. Jonas Sharma and I'm a family doctor. I would like to share with you one important component of managing this coronavirus pandemic that we are facing right now that we seem to miss. It's transmission. The known main mode of transmission of this virus is by person to person through respiratory droplets. Some of these droplets land on a surface and survive a few days. Some stay floating in the air for hours. Some may land on a host and start the cascade of the disease process. During ordinary speech, the droplets can reach to about a meter. This is the reason for the one meter social distancing. However, during forceful cough, sneeze or loud laugh, it can reach up to 10 feet or maybe more. Therefore, we must also focus on stopping the escape of these droplets from those that have it in order to stop its spread. Not all people that have the virus are sick. Some are simply carriers. They are who we call the asymptomatic carriers. Some get sick later after the incubation period. What is the incubation period? The incubation period is the time from when the virus enters the body until the person having it manifests with signs and symptoms. This period ranges from one day to 12 days, but for uniformity it was pegged at 14 days. The period of illness ranges from 7 to 14 days, up to 20 days or even longer. So on the average, the course is about a month. This is the basis for the one month quarantine period. Since we really do not know who may be carrying the virus, unless they test positive of course, which could take some time to know, it is very difficult to control its spread unless we do the following measure. Now here it is. Face mask. We all must wear face masks until the quarantine, quarantine period is over. This is not to protect oneself from getting the virus, but rather from its escape from the person that has it. Commercial masks are now very hard to find, but you can wear any mask. Mask made from clothes, towels, or hankies, or anything that can hold the droplets from getting out. Now, where do you think Prince Charles or the others got the virus from? I am 99% sure it's from someone who had the virus but did not wear a mask and let out his droplets and his virus. The virus can only survive in a host person. After it takes its course within, it's over, unless it gets into another host person. This cycle will never end until all persons on earth will have been infected. Some will survive, some will die, but we don't know who will survive and who will die. But how would you know? who has the virus. This is next to impossible. We must assume that everyone is infected. If everyone in the whole world wore a mask for six weeks, the following would be the effect. One, the volume or the number of cases will drop significantly and therefore the healthcare system will no longer be overwhelmed and can manage cases with much ease than before. This is what we call flattening the curve. Number two, this virus will be disabled naturally and economically with much less need for antivirals, which could be very expensive, and other medications that have potential undesirable side effects. Prevention is still much better and cheaper than finding a cure. Did you know that in 1918, during the Spanish flu pandemic, they realized the value of face masks late in the course of the pandemic 
after millions have already died. They impose the use of face masks at gunpoint. It was when the problem began to be controlled. Let's not repeat history, but rather learn from it. So, together with quarantine and social distancing, a very important component is donning a face mask, which must be continued for a period of six to eight weeks after the quarantine is already lifted. This way, we avoid an economic and probably a health collapse. Until today, I still see on TV persons, politicians in session, the public in other places not wearing masks, and it is also where cases are highest in number. So I plead to the whole world to help control and bring down this pandemic by simply wearing your masks. Thank you and good day.